day of show eight started like any other day on a Cypress Hill um, adventure. We uh, called the breakfast club, went and had the breakfast and the wake and bake that goes along with the breakfast. First the bake before the breakfast and then breakfast and then the bake after the breakfast. And then the continuous break of the bake all through the day. Uh, Ottawa, I haven't been there in a minute, but Ottawa is a very beautiful spot. We didn't really get a chance to stay there very long because um, we only had like day rooms. Now for you people that don't know, sometimes you don't stay overnight, but you don't just want to be at the venue all day. So you have what we call day rooms, which is basically you get in there, you get to shower, chill out for a little bit, but then you got to check out. So before we checked out, you know, went to go had some lunch. It's a pretty good lunch. It was, it's good going in, not so good coming out. Part of this tour, I've been looking for Air Maxes in every fucking city that we've been to, and I can't find none in my goddamn socks from the ones that I want. Um, it's been a brutal search. You know, I've been touring for so many years, and I never, never went on sneaker hunts until a couple years ago. And, you know, now I realize why I didn't, because they don't got my fucking size nowhere. It's not his fault, you know. He just happens to have a weird size foot. I don't know. But that's needless to say. I got over that, you know, with plenty of medication and meditation. I'm able to, you know, channel positive vibes and not worry about the shoes. Um, so, you know, we went out a cool lunch, whatever. And, uh bullshit it got our steps in i'm right on bobo shit in terms of the step counts when we got to the venue we happened to find out that there was a sudden change uh one of the members from horror which has been opening up the show contracted COVID, which meant that they weren't going to be able to perform so there was not enough time to get a replacement so we had to change our time a little bit, up our time, so uh, we can work, you know, in the a lot of time that we have. So basically, Ottawa was Slipknot and Cypress Hill. As the rules go on this tour, is that if a member of a group gets it, the whole band has to quarantine for five days. So they miss that show, they'll be missing this one and the next few and uh, Cypress Hill will, you know, will be holding it down, you know, but if you come early, uh, you'll get to see DJ Lord spin an amazing set because, you know, he's agreed to spin like 20, 30 minutes uh, early and, and give people that crazy ass turntablist experience. So um, that's going to be dope. So if you're coming to these shows, make sure you come early to check DJ Lord out until horror comes back and, um, you know, healing vibes and, and uh, therapeutic vibes to our bros and horror, you know what I'm saying, may come back, get the rest of this with us and, and smash it out. When we got we got on stage, people were kind of still coming in. They weren't as full as when, when we started to go on stage on our normal time. But soon, soon after we got on stage and we started rocking, uh, people were coming in. And before you know it, the crowd was packed. Uh, the ground was the ground floor was packed. The gig itself, I mean, you know, it's hard to put it into words when when you know you're 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 performing in front of all these different crowds, and everybody's bringing a different energy, and all the energy it just it keeps on, you know, raising up levels and stuff like that. And you know, we haven't done it like this in a very long time for for Bobo and myself. Um, we haven't rocked the three-man set since probably 1996, 97. Um, in those years, it's definitely a, a <laughs> it's a more uh, complex show. But you know, we were able to simplify it and get a rhythm down, and uh, it felt really good last night going into it. But we decided to flip it and uh, push forth the get high vibe first. Usually that's in the middle of a Cypress Hill show. On this particular show, we decided, you know what, we're in Canada. It's legal in Canada. 
Fuck it. I like when bands kind of do that. That, you know, if you come and see two shows in a row, you may not see the same show. You know, you're going to see different. You might see a different show, a uh, different rotation of the set list. So it always keeps the, the crowd guessing and uh, us on our toes. You know, instead of ramping up, let's come out with a big old cigar style fucking joint and ramp up on them with the get high shit. So we come out, they hear the horns, people are getting excited. And salute to DJ Lord, he, he rocked. His, his like opening sets are fucking amazing. He really reeled him in on this one, but uh, when the horns started going, people started getting excited. Beat drops. I come out with this big old joint that Aton rolled. Pretty decent roll. I would give it a soft seven. Um, but it's it's blowing smoke like crazy, and people are eating that shit up. And it just set a different tone for us than the the sets that we've had before. Like the the sets that we've been doing before were totally ramped up from the front and then a break in the middle and then back to ramping it up meaning getting aggressive um, for this particular one we started mellow and just ramped up the whole way and the people ate that shit up is there a doctor in the house? What? it was nuts the the crowd participation off the chain salute to y'all in ottawa ontario y'all stayed engaged man and that that's everything to an artist when uh you know the crowd stays engaged and uh it was fucking awesome We didn't have any mishaps last night, fortunately. Um, it was a fun show, man. rising to the occasion we've been rocking shit and uh we had the spirit of sin with us and the people gave him love howled at the moon and then we were able to finish out our set had the people jumping going crazy that's what we got to do